welcome to Grandma Ray Don't Play, and I'm Rachel. So today we're going to introduce you to you, and we're going to talk about the Power Pressure Cooker XL. That's the Power Pressure Cooker XL. And this is a unique uh, item in your kitchen because you it's seven appliances in one. So let me let you know what that is. So in the manual, the first button is a delay button, and then you can can, like if you want to cook your meats or vegetables and jar them up, that's canning. You can do that with this machine. You can also make uh, soup and stews. It's a slow cooker. It's a rice cooker. It can cook beans and lentils. Now, you know, beans and lentils, it takes a long time, like on the stove, at least a couple of hours. You're down to minutes with this machine. Uh, fish, vegetables, and stew. Chicken and meat. Time, uh, and then you can adjust your time, whether you want to make it uh, more or less, depending on what you're cooking. And then it has a warm button. Uh, so when it finished cooking, it will automatically go to the warmer. And it will stay on the warmer until you cut it off. It could be hours on end. And it will stay on the warmer. And it will not continue to cook. It just keeps it warm until you cut the warmer button off. Okay? Alright, so we're going to get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the machine on and I want to first start on saute. So this is the saute button in the middle and this is what the saute button will allow us to do. I'm going to put a little oil in it and it's going to allow us to brown the meat and the, and the egg. So let me introduce you to the, the items that we're going to be cooking with today. I'm making a spicy chicken stew all right so here we have some cut up carrots some onions some potatoes some uh peppers i got green pepper red pepper and yellow pepper these are the seasonings that we're going to use adobo salt seasoning salt black pepper hot crushed peppers and garlic Okay, and I have about a cup of water. In addition to that, I'm going to be using grapeseed oil. I know maybe you never heard of grapeseed oil, or maybe you have, but grapeseed oil is like olive oil, except I think it's, I like it a little better. It's a little lighter, and, the, and it comes from the seed of the grape, okay, grapeseed oil, okay? So let's get started, shall we? So I'm going to put a little oil in the pan. I put about a fourth of a cup of oil in the pan. Just enough to uh, brown the vegetables and the meat. Okay? So we're going to turn the saute button on. As you see, when I turned it on, the first orange light lights up. And so this is going to heat up almost like you were cooking in your frying pan on the stove. Okay? So we're going to let that get hot a little. And then we're going to add our, um, our meat. And, and then we're going to add the vegetables after the meat. I'll be back. We're going to let that heat up. Thank you. Okay. So we've added the oil. I put... In, Maybe one fourth or even less, just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. We don't want it swimming in oil, all right? Okay, so now I'm gonna season the chicken, all right? So as I season, I'll let you know. I'm gonna add some black pepper. And you season to your desire. And some salt. garlic and I'm putting quite a bit because I'm gonna mix it all together so 
you know, it's not just going to be in on the top. So we have a nice, good seasoning going on. And adobo. I just put, I'm sorry, the seasoning salt after the garlic. Adobo. And we're going to add some crushed red peppers. So I'm going to pour it in my hand. Because this is going to be a spicy chicken stew, all right? See how much I'm putting in there? Okay. So, all right. Now I'm going to mix this up. So when you think it's evenly coated with the seasoning, we're going to add it to our hot sauteed oil okay okay so see here we go all right we're not going to cover it we're going to leave it with the cover off because we're sauteing now, all right? It's just to get a little color on the meat. And um, then after maybe, I'd say, seven, ten minutes, we're going to add the vegetables, all right? So we'll be back. We're going to be back in about seven minutes. Hi, Thank I'm you. back. So we, I sauteed the chicken for about seven minutes. So I'm going to take the chicken out now. And I'm going to add in the onions and the peppers and saute that for about another two, three minutes. And then I'm going to add the other vegetables, which is the potatoes and the carrots and my cup of water and the chicken all together. And I'm going to re-season it. And then I'm going to lock the uh, top down. Okay? So I'm going to take the chicken out now. All right? As you can see, in seven minutes, you know, the chicken is not done. It's just enough. And as you notice, our timer just went off. So when you saute, it's usually about 20 minutes. And the timer uh, just went off. It's a little under 20 minutes. So I'm going to set the timer again uh, because we're not finished. We want to saute the, the onions and the uh, peppers now, all right? Okay. So I'm going to put in the onions, and I'm going to put in the peppers, and as you can see, we got a nice uh, color going on. It looks really nice with the peppers and the onions. The peppers, three colors, really bring things out. Okay, so now I'm going to season the peppers and the onions. I'm putting in garlic powder. And some adobo. Some more crushed peppers. We want it nice and spicy. A little salt. And some black pepper. We're going to give that a stir. Okay, and if you feel that you need to add a little more oil, you can, or you can just let it go like this. I'm going to let mine go like this because I don't want to add any more oil, all right? Okay. 
And just give it a stir every now and then because you want to really cook those vegetables. Okay, we're going to let that cook for about maybe seven minutes. All right? Thank you. We'll be back. Hi. I'm back. Okay, so the uh, peppers and onions have sautéed now for around six, seven minutes, give or take. Okay, and so now we're going to add the potatoes and uh, carrots. And I also have some poultry gravy that I'm going to add in as a thickener as well as my cup of water. Okay? All right, so we're going to add the remaining ingredients. So we're going to add the potatoes. We're going to add the carrots. And we're going to mix that in. Because we want everything to be mixed in nicely. Uh-oh. Okay. Now we're going to add the uh, chicken. Remember, we pre sauteed the chicken. We're going to add that in. And then we're going to add in our gravy. We're going to put it over the top. And then we're going to um, stir it all in. So it mixes in nicely. Oh, that looks wonderful. So you get a good picture of what we're doing here. Okay. So now I want to add the water. I'm not sure if I'm going to put the whole cup. We're going to see as I pour it in. I think that's enough. So I put about a half a cup of water in. So I think that's sufficient. So we'll see I got a half left. All right. All right. So now this is the biggest key that I want you to get. This knob here, when you turn it where the arrows are, you're going to feel it drop down. You can hear that. I'm going to turn it again so you can hear that. You hear that? So you want the arrow where the lockdown arrow is on here. Now sometimes it doesn't necessarily line up exactly. It could not go all the way over there. Like right now, it just goes right to there. But you want it in that vicinity. But the key thing is to look at it. And you want this knob down in the front. So as you can see, this is all the way down in the front. And this is up a little. But if I turn it, it's all the way up. See? So we want to push it down. Turn as far as we can to this arrow. Now once we lock it on, this knob here is going to go in the lock position, which is right here. It says lock. Okay? So we're going to put it on. Okay, it's on. Now we're going to turn it to the lock position. So you see that went to the lock position. So you hear the beep noise now? Beep. Beep, beep. Okay, what that's going to do is the pressure is going to build up. And uh, once that pressure builds up, after we set the timer, okay? So we're going to set the timer now because nothing's going to happen until I set the timer. So here we go. Here's our options. So we can do chicken, meat. We can do... Uh, stew, I think I want to do, even though I could pick stew, I would like to do chicken meat because I want to control the time. So I'm pressing in chicken meat, but it's saying the lid is not on. See, it says LD, that means LID, that means the lid is not on. So I got to take it off. 
and put that back on and try now. So I'm going to press the chicken or meat button and now it's automatically set for 15 minutes. So I'm going to cut it off again because I was too, too slow. I'm pressing the meat button. It says chicken meat. And now I'm going to increase the time. No, it's not letting me do it. Let's see what's going on. Cut it off. Meat button. And we're going to increase the time. Okay. I want to do 30 minutes because I think that the vegetables and potatoes uh, it might take that long. So I put it on 29. Um, no, you know what? I'm sorry. Scratch that. I'm going to press the meat button and I'm going to put it on for 20 minutes. Okay? So I put it on for 20 minutes because we've already pre-cooked the uh, vegetables and we've already pre-cooked the chicken. And all we wanted to do is to bring it together and cook the carrots and the potatoes, okay? So I set it for 20 minutes and we'll check it there. Okay, so I'm back. Bye. So as you can see, the steam is built up now. You see the steam coming up here? So once that steam starts building up, you want to hit this red button here to make sure that the pressure locks in. Now watch, see that? There's no more steam coming up. I pushed that button down and it popped up. So as you can see, it's up about that much, okay? So now you hear no more steam or anything. It is now actually cooking. We're back. So the 20 minutes just stopped. And uh, so we're gonna assume that everything is done. But you won't really know that for sure because this is your first time experiencing that uh, until we open the top. So there's two things about opening the top. You cannot just reach over and, and open the top because the steam is has it locked in. You have to release the steam or wait until it cools down, okay? So to, to release the steam, we're going to do that from a distance. So I'm going to take the spoon and I'm going to push this arrow that we locked down, the knob here, to the side. And when you do that, you're going to hear the steam come out. And you're going to do that until the steam stops. Ready? See the steam? Okay, here we go. As you notice, I have a long arm spoon, so I'm no, my fingers are nowhere near it. Okay, all the pressure have released, and now we're going to open the top. It's safe to do so now. <laughs> Let's get a zoom in on that. Look at that. Carrots, let's see how tender they are. Nice. Just right. Okay, so we're going to take some out and see how that looks. Let's get a good shot at that. Nice. Look at that stew. We got all the fresh vegetables, the nice thick, uh, gravy that we put in there. Doesn't that look wonderful? And a good part about cooking with this, you know, your potatoes and, and vegetables is not all uh, messed up. They look just like you cu cut them and put them in here. This is great. So we're going to um, give it a little taste. So I cooked some rice to go with this on the stove. So there's our rice right there. And we're going to put a little on the plate and we're going to see how this tastes. Okay, let's give it a try, shall we? Okay, so I cooked some rice on the stove to go with our chicken stew. 
So I'm, I have a, a guest here. Her name is Brenda. We're going to have her come and give us her honest opinion what she thinks the stew tastes like. If she like it, she don't like it, or just her thoughts on the pressure cooker, okay? Okay, Brenda, hi, how are you? Could you come in? How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Would you like to try the uh, chicken stew? Uh, it's made with chicken, potatoes, peppers, onions, carrots, and we have some see all kind of seasonings in here: uh, garlic season, uh, salt, pepper, uh, crushed red peppers, and um, a few more items. Uh, would you like to try some? I did cook the rice on the stove, uh, but you could also cook the rice with the pressure cooker separately. Would you like to try some? Yes. Great. Okay. So tell me when on the rice. That's good. That's good. Okay. And I'm going to give you some nice hot stew right out the pot. Oh, wonderful. Linda, would you like to take a taste and give me your honest opinion about the uh, pressure cooker? Yes. Okay. Here you go. It's really good, and the meat is really chewy. Okay. And soft. Soft. Great. And the potato is done really well. Oh, okay. I love it. And you like the idea that it's a little spicy? Is, is that appealing to you? Yeah. Oh, okay. And Brenda, let me ask you. This is uh, new on the market, you know. The Power Pressure Cooker XL, it's called, uh, haven't been out that long, but uh, it has been on the market. Have you heard about it before now? Mm -hmm. You have? And had you had any interest in buying one? No. Do you think that maybe now that you know that it, it the results come out where the meat is tender, as you said, and the uh, potatoes is, came out... What did you say about the potatoes? That came out really good and well. Good and really well. Quick. Wow. And what do you think about, what's the possibility of you buying one? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Wonderful. And did you know that it's seven appliances in one? Yeah, that's good. Great. I'm so look at myself one too. You are. Okay. That works for me. So as you hear, people, uh, I have a great, great uh, review here. She loves it. She says it's really good. You can see she's still eating it. And she's going to get her one tomorrow. Wow. Well, let me just taste because, you know, I like to eat, so why not, right? You want to hear from me. So let me taste me some and see what happens. I don't want any rice because I'm trying to watch my weight. You know, I got a great figure I want to keep. You know what I mean? Okay. So I'm just going to get some stew. You know, when you're trying to watch your weight, you don't need to start. Just potatoes in here already. So I'm satisfied with just the stew with the vegetables and the, and the chicken. Oh my goodness. Really, really delicious. The meat is very tender. I'm going to try the potatoes and the, oh, the crushed red peppers just put the kicker in it, it is so, so spicy and nice. The potatoes are still firm, but, but done. You taste the carrots. See that? Wow. Really, really good and healthy. So, in my conclusion, I must say, 
if you don't have time to be uh, slaving over the stove and you have to um, take care of your family, I would suggest you get a pressure cooker. All you have to do is put everything in there. You don't have to saute like I did in the beginning if you don't want to. I did that because when you saute it, it gives you a different um, flavor. Also, you may want to saute a steak and not stew. Just saute the steak. Act like it's a frying pan, okay? Um, and you might want to uh, put everything in there before you go to work or before the kids go off to school. Lock the pressure down after about 10 minutes to, uh, steam, when the steam starts building up and you hit the red button. Lock the pressure in and just walk away. Go on out the door, go to work or whatever. When you get off and you come home, whether it's 8 hours later or however long it is, your food will be nice and hot, set on the warmer automatically. And you can just come in and feed everybody and relax and know that the Power Pressure Cooker XL got your back. Yes. And remember, this is Grandma Ray. I'm Rachel. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye. Cooking. Okay, so pause. Okay, so I want you to note that once uh, we I pushed the red button down and it uh, shot up and the steam start coming out. So let's take a spoonful out. Oh, and look at the gravy. Nice. Brenda, can you pass me a big spoon? You might have wanted to cut that. <laughs>